Hey guys, welcome back to SFDC Panther. This is Amit, and uh, today we are going to learn custom render in Lightning component. So, uh, as we know that we have different different uh, components on a Lightning under Lightning component bundle. So, we are going to learn about the render component. So, before we go ahead render component, let's see, let's know what is the render component in Lightning bundle. So basically, render component uh, is a component which is having four kinds of methods which uh, can can be rendered. Uh, render means whenever a component is being rendered or a component is being initialized. Re-render means whenever we are changing the value for any attribute and the component is being re-rendered. That means, for example, if you have a list of ten contacts, and then we are adding two more contacts on that list. So whenever we will be adding two more contacts the component will be rendered so whenever that component will be re-rendered we can call this re-render method and then after render method after render method is called whenever we we uh, have initialized means our component has been created and we wanted to add some and we wanted to perform some calculation or manipulation and based on our component or whatever our business requirement is we can use that after render and then unrender method is whenever we are destroying any component let's say that we have created a component with the help of lightning early library as a model and whenever we are destroying that we are closing the model we can call this unrender component so let's see what is the life cycle of the renderer component so the life cycle of the component is initially it calls the init method that we basically known as do init where we can make some initial action we can call some initial server side action and then it calls the render method whenever the component is being rendered we can call the render method and if you want to change you know, make any changes to the component body we can make that in this render method and then after render method is we can just modify the dome or we can just subscribe some events some system events like key events what happens if we i'm pressing ctrl f2 or what happens if i'm pressing enter and then at the end it, it happens the render event calling the user interactives and all that so let's see for this uh, simplicity of the tutorial i already created the component so for what i created the component hmm, i created just a simple component and in which I use the render component where in the after render I'm calling a method of a helper class that is set up key events so what I'm doing is I'm just calling a method of helper class which is setting up the key events for the enter whenever I'm clicking on an enter it is calling an apps class method that is responsible for returning the list of accounts and then I'm displaying those list of accounts in our in my component so one thing that you need to keep in mind is that from the render component we can call only helper class method helper controller method we cannot call the controller methods we can only call the helper methods so let's see uh, what is the code behind uh, inside the setup key events so this is the helper event that has two method one is for fetch accounts that is responsible for fetching all the list of accounts and then this is the event that we are calling from the render so here i'm just putting the enter key code which is 13 f2 key code is 113 and then f4 key code is 115 and then this is my callback function and that i'm using inside dollar right out get callback so that if uh, the event is different if the callback is different it doesn't impact and we can easily make the changes into the component and then I'm just adding add event listener that is key up. So um, if I'm hitting on any key, whatever the key code I have given here, and inside that it's taking one more parameter that is callback and async is true or false. So here and then add enter key event, whatever the function I have given inside or a callback. This is taking a parameter event and it's checking if event dot key code key code uh, it's automatically the system automatically detects the key code so if even dot key code is equal to equal to enter code that means if it is equal to 30 it's re removing the event key listener for that 
for that time and then it's just calling the method of helper fetch accounts and which is responsible for saying that helper dot fetch accounts and then here inside else I'm just putting the alert for event key code so that we can be sure that what key code we are getting we can also put this key code inside this method as well if condition and else if condition and then here in the controller method it's just doing it and on render on render means uh, it's just a simple attribute that I'm just putting my Mokosua inside that attribute and if you wanted to display this attribute you can just you can just you can see here I'm displaying that attribute custom render and then whatever the attribute values and then this is the division here I'm displaying the account details with the help of lightning card and our resin so uh, let's mm, see this how it's work so let's preview the our application and inside our application you can see we are only just seeing custom render and mogambo so that is on the renderer so on render if you see here if you go to the render component super render and super re render and we are not calling this on render method so from here we are calling this on render method if you want to see go back to the component and if you see that we have one more aura handler other than init we have a render a name called render if we give the name render for any handler inside any handler that means it will be calling the method whenever the component will be uh, the component will be initialized so let me press ctrl f2 you can see it's saying that 113 nothing happens because we, we haven't put any logic inside that instead of alert if i'm pressing f4 it's saying that it is control f5 uh, 115 and if i'm hitting enter you will see that uh, the key code is 13 and you will be able to see the list of account whatever all the list of accounts that are here, present here in my or so this is the simple use case for render you can just go ahead uh, on the render component for the renderer you can just write renderer and then function component helper and then you can just call super renderer super re render super after re render super after unrender and for the render you can just call that method uh, from the component by providing the name as a render so as this is uh, as this code is already available here in my org uh, you don't need to worry you will be getting the link of the my github repo from where you can uh, get the code and try it you can do um, like instead of setup key events you can uh, add your own logic as per your requirement if you have come with any scenario where you can do this so this is the one scenario that i have came up and the other scenario that i have and that is let's say that here we are showing the list of account and we have one edit button here and this edit button is opening up pop-up with the full list of all the fields of the particular account and we are making the changes instead of these fields name and industry and let's say that we are making the changes on the account phone that phone is also listed here and we wanted to see the updated phone information over here and let's say that uh, we are already displaying industry and we wanted to see the updated industry over here for that we can use the re-render concept the concept of re-render uh, that 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 will help you i've already done that but uh, that code is not present here in my arc so i will not be able to show you so you can just go ahead and try your own scenarios and let me know if you are facing any problem i will be glad to help you so this is all uh, for this video Thank you guys for taking your time out for watching this video and please don't forget to like subscribe and share the video. Thank you.